Today's exercise, we're gonna teach you a dead bug variation, which is gonna show you how the ability to produce proximal stiffness through everything between the neck, the elbows, and the knees to produce distal motion through the hips is absolutely integral to help you to be able to be a stronger, more powerful cyclist or triathlete. And in fact, to tap into a lot of power that you actually already have. The internet. Oh, it's been such a blessing and a curse at the same time. You know, we've had for years people talking about core and planks for cyclists, and now we're talking about glutes and the posterior chain, which is a progression. It's very slow. But today's exercise, the wall dead bug, is going to make blatantly clear to you that everything between your neck, your elbows, and the knees have to be able to work together to be able to produce proximal stiffness to create power that goes down to the pedals or down to the road to help you express your power and strength as opposed to going all different types of places. Now, one word of note, if you have lower back pain or shoulder pain already, this exercise is not for you. In fact, you'll wanna head over to a local physical therapist to be checked out and given a personal strength training program which will help get you back to normal function and out of pain. Now, if you're not someone who has pain, the wall dead bug is relatively simple, but not easy. So you'll notice behind me here, we have the wall. I'm just gonna come down into the position. And I have the yoga mat here, which is important because I don't wanna slide on the floor. Now, the wall itself, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press my hands into it. And when we do this, what we're looking for is the elbows to be about even with my ears or a little bit lower. So I'm gonna be pretty close to the wall. You'll see some people do it further away. That's not what we're looking for. So the hands should form a triangle with my head. So I wanna be up just a little bit. And from here, I'm just gonna push about five to 10 pounds worth of force into the wall. Now, as I'm doing that, I also wanna brace my stomach. And this is where the McGill Crunch, which is another exercise we have here, on the Human Vortex Training Channel, you can check out up here, um, is going to help you to be able to produce a full 360 degree abdominal brace, which is really important because we need to sustain a normal lumbar curvature. So we do not want to change the curve of our back. So we're gonna stay nice and braced, push the hands against the wall, about five to 10 pounds of force. Now from there, I'm gonna come up into the dead bug position. You'll notice the lumbar curvature, my lower back stays neutral. It's not flattened and it's not excessive. Okay, so we're staying 360 degree breath, I'm pushing into the wall, five to 10 pounds. And then from here, I'm just gonna slowly lower one leg and you'll notice the shake and then up. And I'm moving only from the hip with only my abs, nothing else is moving. Now, if I release the wall, it becomes a lot easier because I don't have to produce that tension up towards my ears and in the upper body. This is the magic of this exercise. And in fact, I've used this quite a number of athletes uh, from around the world I work with here during Corona. They were running out of variations. We were in their second or third lockdown. They still weren't able to get kettlebells or dumbbells or bands or anything. So we've got to come up with exercises that are going to progress them. This is a fantastic exercise for you if you already are able to master or have been able to move towards mastery with that McGill Crunch, as well as with the Bird Dog. So those are the Bird Dogs up here as well. Those are two exercises which you've already subscribed here to the HVT channel, you'll be very familiar with and should be moving towards mastery. Now, if you haven't already subscribed, we'll do it again, magic button, editor guy. Um, subscribe to the channel because we're going to give you even more specific strength training for cyclist and triathlete exercises with the cues, positions, and specific attention to detail to help you see results out on the bike or out on the course as opposed to in the weight room. Now, did you find this variation to be a lot more challenging or did you feel it was easier? Comment down below and make sure to subscribe after that. Now, when you're done with that, head on over to the Human Vortex Training Channel, uh, excuse me, to the Human Vortex Training blog because we have a weekly blog as well as a free weekly newsletter which you can subscribe for over on the HVT website. That's a lot of subscribes. Oh man, shouldn't have done that. That would have too much fun. Now until next time, remember, train smarter, not harder because it is all about you.